Hey everyone, I'm back again with yet another holiday inspired makeup tutorial. Today's look features a dramatic chocolatey brown eye with a hint of violet in it and a lot of glitter. If you like what you see, please stay tuned for how to do this look. Alright, so let's begin. I've already primed my lids with the Too Faced uh, shadow insurance as well as my lids with Too Faced lip insurance. And I'll go straight onto the base on my lid which is going to be the Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to focus most of the color on my lids and blend upwards all the way to my brow. Alright, the first eyeshadow that I'm going to use on my lid today is Galapagos by NARS. As you can see, it's a very deep brown color with gold shimmer in it. It's quite beautiful. You have to be careful though um, about fallout, so be sure to tap off your brush. I'm going to use my flat shading brush for this step. Uh, pack the color onto the brush, tap off any excess, and then I'm going to transfer this color to my lid, not going past the crease just yet, just focus on your lid. Right into the inner corner and work your way out. Just pat it onto your lid for full color payoff. And make sure you get right into the lash line here. You don't want any gaps. All right, as you can see, this is quite a deep brown shade. In order to get this brown shade with a hint of violet in it, I actually mixed Hepcat into the color onto my lid. Uh, Hepcat is by MAC. Um, I'm going to use my shading brush from MAC. Sorry, I used it for this eye. That's why it's a little bit dirty. But I'm going to put it right in there and actually use quite a bit of color. Tap off any excess and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first apply this color directly onto my lid. And blend it into the crease and slightly upwards. If you find that you've lost a little bit of the chocolate brown and glittery effect on the lid, go ahead and apply, using the same brush, a little bit of the Galapagos back onto your lid. Alright, now that I've completed combining Hepcat with the Galapagos color, I'm going to go ahead and blend the color out even further using Trax by MAC. I'll just use the same blending brush tap the color the brush into the color a little bit and transfer that to my lid and blend upwards approaching the eyebrow but not quite touching we just want to make a seamless transition to the natural sorry into the highlight that I'll be laying down later so as you can see the color now fades out even further closer to the brow and I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlight color which will be Yet again, NARS Albatross to right underneath my brow and my tear duct area. When you get underneath the brow, you want to make sure that you blend the color downwards so that, again, there's a seamless transition from the shade that's on the lid into your highlight color. And now for the tear duct area. Don't go too far down just about a quarter of the way in on the lower lid and blend it out as well as you can. The next step for me is to line my lower lash line with MAC Eye Coal in Teddy. It is a brown that actually matches the Galapagos pretty well. You just want to put it along our lash line all the way across. Now I would like to apply a combination of Hepcat and Galapagos right on top of where I applied the liner on the lower lash line. I'm going to use my small smudger brush from MAC. It is number 214. First I will dip, sorry, tap my brush into the NARS eyeshadow just on the tip and also onto Hepcat. Tap off any excess and just apply that right on top of 
the liner on the lower lash line. Right now I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line with my regular Revlon liquid liner and apply mascara to both my top and bottom lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've completed my mascara and my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply MAC's Sheer Tone Blush in Hushabye to my cheeks. It has a hint of purple in it, which is why I'm using it. I'm not going to apply a lot, uh, just to my cheeks and along my cheekbones, and I'll be right back. All right, and as my highlight on my face today, I'm going to be using South Beach Cream Stick by NARS. I'll apply that to my cheekbone area right above where I applied my blush and blend it well. Down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and just a little on my cupid's bow, wherever the light's going to hit first. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the lips. Today I'm gonna to use a combination of lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. My first step here is to apply Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 7C. Okay, I've applied my lip liner and as you can see, I've contoured a little bit. I first applied the lip liner to the outer portions of my lip and then filled it in ever so slightly in each of the corners so as to help create a little bit of dimension to my lip. And when I apply the lipstick, you'll see it a little brighter here, which will help create more of a pouty look. The lipstick I'm going to apply today is Fabby by MAC. It is a frost color and it's more of a pink shade. Just going to apply that directly to my lips. Okay, now I've applied the lipstick to my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a uh, coat of lip gloss over that, which is actually by MAC, and it is Viva Glam 6. And when you put it on top, make sure you blend out any harsh lines that may have been left behind by the lip liner. All right, I'm gonna blot off the color of my lips a little bit with a piece of tissue. And I'm done completing my lips, which means that I finished my look for today. I hope you've really enjoyed this combination of a very chocolatey brown smoky eye with a hint of violet in it. I hope you find it useful for any events you'll be going to over the holidays. Please stay tuned for plenty more. Have a fabulous day.